When Gotham Knights was announced less than a month ago, we were introduced to an entirely new universe with no connections to the Arkhamverse. And this has raised a big question within the community. What villains could we be seeing? So here is a list so far of all the confirmed and speculated villains that could appear in Gotham Knights. The Court of Elves have been teased by WB Montreal ever since the end of 2017, and they were finally revealed to be the main antagonists of the game last month. Now, their role in the game will be a fairly large one, as they are the main villains and one of the biggest mysteries in the game, and many have theorised that they will be in some way linked to the mystery of who killed Bruce Wayne. We got our first full look at Mr. Freeze in the official gameplay trailer, and he looks to have a fully fledged side story within Gotham Knights. This time he comes with a more advanced mechanical suit, and his intentions don't seem to be particularly good this time around. Many have theorised the reason why he's trying to freeze the city is because he's trying to take down the Court of Owls, as the cold is one of their weaknesses. Perhaps they may have kidnapped Nora Freeze and locked her away and Freeze is merely trying to get her back? Now we will talk about the speculated villains, and these villains have not been confirmed for the game as of yet, but do have a high chance of being in the game. Throughout the official gameplay trailer, we continuously see a group of thugs decked out in red jackets and white masks that bear a lot of similarities to Anarchy himself. During the trailer, they do seem to be causing random acts of violence and anarchy throughout the city, like them breaking into this building here. Possibly since Batman is gone, Anarchy has decided to rise up and cause as much chaos as possible. Two members of the Bat family that we'll be playing as have strong connections to the Joker. We see that Barbara is fully healed from her spine injury and has gotten herself out of the wheelchair and back into crime fighting. But who put her there? The Joker. Red Hood is also playable in this game, and from the descriptions from WB Montreal, has already gone through the ordeal of being murdered and then being brought back to life. And I quote, Jason Todd is an intense and volatile anti-hero. It all stems from dying a violent death. Jason's death was at the hands of the Joker and was incredibly violent. Having the Joker in this game would provide some very strong character moments between himself and Red Hood or Batgirl, and can show some immense character development for how they react when they come across him. We know that Jason Todd did die within this universe and was brought back to life, and again, from the description given to us by WB Montreal, we are given a hint of who may have brought him back to life, and I quote, Jason Todd is an intense and volatile anti-hero. It all stems from dying a violent death and then being forcibly resurrected by one of Batman's most dangerous foes. When Jason Todd did die, he was brought back to life by none other than Ra's al Ghul using the Lazarus Pit. In the comics, when Jason was lowered into the Lazarus Pit, he re-emerged with a white streak in his hair as a result of the pit. And in the trailer, we can see that he has this white streak confirming he was resurrected by the pit in this universe. Raish is classed as one of Batman's most dangerous foes, meaning this connection just seems more and more likely. He could reappear within the game and provide some strong character moments between him and Red Hood, and can provide an interesting story between the two. It would also be interesting to see how the League of Assassins would work within Gotham without Batman there to stop them. This speculation all stemmed from one of the original teasers from a month back. When entering the right code, you would be gifted with this glitching image, with the words saying face to face. People took this to be a tease to the involvement of Two-Face within the game. He has been speculated to be running one of the factions in the game, one that is running a section of the city. And he does yet again link to one of the Gotham Knights' backstories. Jason Todd's father worked for Two-Face and was later murdered by the criminal. Again, this could provide some good character moments between the two if he was in the game. During the trailer, if you pause at the right moment, in the background you can see the Edward H. Elliott Center. Edward H. Elliot was actually the great-great-grandfather of Thomas Elliot, who everyone knows as Hush. Edward Elliot was one of the people responsible for the construction of modern-day Gotham, along with the Waynes and the Cobblepots. The developers have confirmed that Batman Hush is one of their favourite comic books, and this could have easily influenced Gotham Knights in a big way, meaning Hush's involvement seems more and more likely. They also stated that Batman Gates of Gotham was one of their favourites too, and that dealt with the founding days of Gotham and revolved around characters such as Edward Elliot. If he did turn up in this game with the face of Bruce Wayne, it would be interesting to see how the Gotham Knights would react, as Bruce is obviously dead at this point. And to just stem off of this hush theory, there is a possibility that the Penguin could show up too. They stated that Batman Gates of Gotham was one of their favourite comic books, and that does deal with the Cobblepots as well, so there is a big chance that Penguin could appear in this game and could be running one of the factions in the city. In one of the screenshots that WB Montreal posted, we can see Red Hood opposite the Belfry and looking out onto the streets of Gotham. However, there is a billboard on the right for Janice Cosmetics. 
Janice Cosmetics is a makeup company in the DC Universe owned by Charles Sionis, the father of Roman Sionis, who we all know as Black Mask. Roman killed his father in the comics and took over the operation. So if Janice Cosmetics is operating in this game's universe, there is a big chance that Black Mask could show up. Now, in terms of all the speculated villains, there is no 100% chance that they will show up. It is merely speculation, but there is some good evidence to support each. But what do you guys think? Do you think these villains could appear and what villains would you like to see? Please tell me in the comments below. Please like the video and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!